I'm going to show you how to make this insane chat bubble animation in Premiere Pro. Start off by clicking the rectangle tool found in the toolbar. Then make a simple rectangle shape like this. Then go to the essential graphics settings and then change the roundness of the rectangle. Now also change your fill color by clicking on this grey color box and then change it to the color that you like. We are now almost done creating a chat bubble. Now click on the grey space on the timeline to deselect everything. Then go to the toolbar and click on the pen tool. Then make this sort of triangle shape to your rectangle. We have now created this nice looking chat bubble. Now let's merge the rectangle and the triangle into one shape. So select both the graphics layers. You can do this by holding shift and then clicking. Then right click and go to nest. We can now duplicate this chat bubble by holding alt when dragging the nested sequence up a layer. Now go to the preview window, then double click on the bubble to select it and move it down a bit. Now go to the effects panel and search horizontal flip and apply the effect to the top layer. You should now see that the chat bubble moved a bit, so simply reposition it. Now go to the effects panel and search tint and apply the effect to the top layer. And with the layer selected, go to face controls and under map black 2, change it to whatever color you like. Do the same thing with map y2. This should now change the color of the second chat bubble. Now start adding text to your first chat bubble and after you're done, click on this grey space in the timeline again and then add the text to the second chat bubble. Now we need to merge the text with the chat bubbles. So select your first chat bubble by holding the shift and clicking on it, then select the text belonging to the chat bubble. Right click, go to nest and click OK. Now simply select your second chat bubble and your second text then right click and nest it again. Now let's animate this. So go to the effects panel, search for form and apply it to the bottom chat bubble. Then select it, go to effects controls and under transform, keyframe scale and then with the keyframe form a bit. Now change the scale value down to zero so the bubble isn't visible anymore. Select your keyframes, then right click, ease in, then right click again and ease out. This will make the animation smooth. Now go to the transform text, click on it and press ctrl and c to copy the attributes and click on the second chat bubble and press ctrl and v to paste them. We have now made a simple animation. If you don't want them to pop up at the same time, you can simply offset the second chat bubble a bit. If you found this video helpful then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.